Welcome to another installment of our resource videos on the 6 liter diesel engine. We are committed to educating you and the entire 6 liter diesel community on how to properly diagnose and bulletproof the 6 liter diesel engine for years of reliable service. Today we're going to clear up some misconceptions regarding EGR deletes. If you have a bad EGR cooler, or if you're simply looking to prevent an EGR cooler failure, you might have come across something that is called an EGR delete. Before you get any further along in your purchasing decision, let's take just a few minutes to make sure that you have all the information to make the best decision towards achieving a truly reliable truck. Beyond the legality of an EGR delete, there's another important factor to consider. If your EGR cooler is failing, it could be because it's not getting enough coolant, which could indicate a problem with your failing water pump or a failed OEM oil cooler. In other words, your EGR cooler is trying to tell you something, something important. And by deleting the EGR cooler without understanding why it failed could lead to much bigger, much more expensive problems. Throughout our years of experience in addressing the pattern failures on a 6 liter diesel engine, we've come to realize that the engine oil cooler is typically the root cause of the problem. To better understand the problems associated with the original equipment oil cooler, be sure to watch our video, Problems with the Factory Engine Oil Cooler, on our webpage or YouTube channel. While blocked coolant flow is a common cause for EGR cooler failure on the 6.0, a ruptured or clogged EGR cooler can occur on other engines where the EGR cooler has enough coolant. Most OE EGR coolers utilize a variation of the shell and tube heat exchanger that use flat tubes with internal channels. These flat tubes are susceptible to cracking due to thermal expansion and or the small passageways can be clogged with soot. To get a better understanding about EGR coolers, watch the videos in our Learn About EGR Cooler section on our webpage or on our YouTube channel. So back to the original question, what is an EGR delete? An EGR delete is a device that can be used to block off and in fact delete either the entire EGR cooler or at least the functionality of the EGR system. Most EGR deletes stop or block the flow of exhaust gases from flowing through the EGR cooler and therefore prevent the EGR system from functioning properly. The purpose of an EGR system is to help an engine run cleaner. It does this by reintroducing non-burnable exhaust gases back into the combustion chamber. This inert exhaust gas helps lower combustion temperatures, which, in turn, helps prevent the formation of NOx molecules, a known pollutant. Because NOx is a known pollutant, it is regulated by the EPA and federal emissions laws. Suffice it to say that installing an EGR delete on nearly any vehicle is a violation of federal emission laws in all 50 states. Because an EGR delete prevents the EGR system from functioning properly, it will often set the dreaded check engine light. While it has been possible in the past to use tuners to prevent the check engine light from coming on when an EGR delete is installed, there is no guarantee that this functionality will be available in the future. So while you do have a choice between an EGR Delete and the Bulletproof Diesel EGR Cooler, the smart choice is on the option that's reliable, cost effective, good for the environment, and doesn't set the check engine light. That option is the Bulletproof Diesel EGR Cooler. If you found that video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll receive updates when we post videos similar to this one.